You know what? For uh, over 50 years, Calgarians and Southern Albertans, for that matter, have been lacing up their roller skates at Lloyd's Roller Rink. In my case, I switched to roller blades. I've been there for birthday parties, a family fun, and those late night skates all the way to midnight. Uh, but coming to a close, Austin Giles is with us now, one of the managers at Lloyd's. And uh, good morning to you, Austin. Good morning. This was something when we first heard about it in the newsroom. I've been going to Lloyd's since probably 1979, 1980. It is a staple in my life. Now my kids are skating at Lloyd's. We didn't want to believe it was true. It was true. But what's interesting about this, and you're going to explain this to us, this was not a surprise. It wasn't because the business was having trouble. This was in the plants. Can you tell us why they're closing, why you guys are closing? Yeah, so first and foremost, let me just say, you know, Lloyd's Roller Rink has been a fun and safe recreational environment for Calgarians for, as you mentioned, over 50 years. And we're very happy and proud to have been able to provide that to the community. But, um, it, you know, Lloyd and Flo Cooper, the owners, are both deceased. And they, they just passed, you know, Lloyd passed away in 2002 at the age of 85. And Flo just recently, in 2016, and she was 93. So they both lived long and healthy lives, long and happy lives. And... Um, but it was in their will uh, that when they both passed away, that their entire estate, so not just Lloyd's Roller Rink, but Lloyd was also involved in many other business ventures. And, um, you know, their, their property and the land is, is all, everything's going to be sold and it's all, being, it's all worth about $18 million. And that's being donated to charities on their behalf because they were very focused on giving back to the community. And they've decided to give that to um, the Children's Hospital Foundation as well as the Calgary Health Trust. Wow. So literally, this was in the works. This was in the plans. It was. And of course, uh, two great causes that the that the, the focus is on. It doesn't make it any uh, less bittersweet. No. Uh, especially, you know, I am looking uh, selfishly from somebody who likes skating and bringing my family there. You, you're not one of the newer employees. Uh, no. Sixteen years for you, did you say? Yeah, I've been there about sixteen, 16. years. And you're not the uh, longest running employee of Lloyd's. Absolutely. You can break down some of the years for some of these uh, guys and gals behind the scenes, right? It's yeah, incredible. no. Lloyd's is an environment where you, you just start there. Even, you know, you start skating. I started skating when I was eight years old. And if skating's a passion of yours, we all just become really involved. And it becomes a lifestyle and almost like, you know, a family and a community for us. So um, there's many of us that, like I said, I've been here for about 16 years. We have numerous staff that have been there for decades. And we have... You know, Marty and, and Rick and Tyler and Norm. And Norm's been the general manager of the facility since the 60s. Since the 60s, he's been there. You, you'll see him if you, if you, he's always also, when his birthday party's on, he's back there rolling up his sleeves, oh, yeah. rolling up the he, hot dogs. He gets the hot dogs all set out. He's been hands on, hands on manager since the day he started. And that's what we really appreciate about Norm. The multi generational aspect of Lloyd's, not just with the employees, but with the customers, mm -hmm. is something in 16 years you must have seen with not only the, uh, you know, Parents, grandparents, and grandchildren, just so many generations. Is that the experience yeah. you've had? And it goes way beyond me. I mean, like I said, people start coming there and they just fall in love with it. And it's a place where a number of youth of, of mul multiple generations, like you mentioned, have, have grown up there. And it's really a, a safe haven for teenagers and, and families to come together and just enjoy skating and, and be in the lights and the music and just have a great time. And like I said, we've been so grateful to be able to be a part of that and provide that community for, for over half a, half a century. Lloyd and Flo's wishes coming true, and, and again, making a, a real uh, impact in the city when it comes to their donation. But, and I know, that the, I know that Lloyd's physically will not exist there. Was there any talk of taking uh, the, 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 the guts of Lloyd's and, and moving it somewhere else? Was there a talk of having a resurgence or kind of a Lloyd's 2, if you will? Yeah, that's a great idea. That's what a lot of people would love. It's, it's difficult to see this, you know, dying in the city after so long. But unfortunately, a roller rink in, in this day and age is just not a really viable business when you need that much land and the cost of the land and the cost of maintaining the land. For, you know, in the summer, there's, there's not many people there. We've got to air condition the whole building and the property taxes and the business. It's just, it all adds up. And it's a very large facility. So Lloyd, Lloyd and Flo actually really subsidized that facility with, because of their other business interests. Lloyd was, Lloyd was a very successful businessman in other areas as well. And that was really their way of giving back to the community, was making sure that that, that remained open. Uh, last gate is which day? The last gate is February 18th. Okay. So we are open until February 18th. We're not having, you know, one specific event where, where, where for everyone, because there's too many people that Lloyd's has touched their lives. And uh, we're, we're just encouraging as many Calgarians as possible to come over those next several weeks and join us and, and celebrate the, the legacy of Lloyd and Flo and their Calgary roller rink. Thank you very much. Uh, February 18th, the last date, man. Great opportunity over the holidays to go for one last skate with the family.